Hello, welcome back to another Sonic Academy tech tip uh, with me, Mac Vaughn. I'm going to be showing you um, how to do an effects generator in this tech tip, uh, somewhat similar to the uh, atmosphere generator that we did in a previous tech tip. Um, and w the reason why I do these little instruments like this is just to breathe new life into old sounds. Uh, I used to collect uh, computer music and future music magazines uh, from a few years ago and I find that a lot of the sounds that would come in the uh, in those magazines uh, they're a bit outdated now um, but I can take those sounds and I can load them into an instrument rack and kind of combine them together to make new sounds basically a, just a way of doing um, you know sound design taking old sounds and uh, making them sound new again so um, I've already done a little bit of work on this generator uh, because there's uh, a little bit of uh, detail to, uh, a lot of detail to, uh, involved. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, with the last step um, and I'll go back through and show you what I did here with these other ones. Um, but what we've got is um, I've made four folders here. I've got uh, a bottom, body, noise, and vibe. And I've basically filled these uh, folders with sounds um, that I want to use to um, combine together to make my new uh, impacts. So let's uh, get into it. And um, so I've loaded a sampler. I'm going to rename this. It should be bottom because I've got the other ones in there. And now that I've done that, I'm going to go to my folder here. And let's get that. Let's get live back here. Come on. Oh, it's not going to do it. Uh, maybe I can paste them. So I'll hit copy. Does that work? Maybe I can do it in here. Oh, it's not going to let me if I'm in full screen. All right. That's fine. We'll just do it this way. There. Okay, there we go. So all I've done is I've dropped four samplers into the instrument rack here. And um, I'll show you. So if you loaded, oh, not, not that, instrument rack. If you just load instrument rack and you load a sampler and you click on the chain list, you can literally load as many of these things as you want. Okay. So now we'll come back over here and I already had body, noise, and vibes uh, loaded. So I just uh, loaded up um, bottom uh, with some samples. And with all of the samples selected, I'm gonna go over here to select and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say distribute ranges equally. And I'm, I'm gonna leave it like this. Uh, for this uh, tech tip, but normally um, I like to uh, decrease the size of these so that these uh, you don't have to turn the knob uh, so you know so much to get a new sound to dial in. From here to here is going to be basically turning the knob one through eight, just and you're going to stay on the same uh, sample. But for what we're doing today, it'll be fine. So now what we need to do is um, we need to assign our macro knobs to change the sound uh, for each of these uh, samplers that we have loaded up. So um, we're going to go map. And the first one we're going to map is this one, uh, which is our bottom. And then we'll do the body. And then we'll do noise. There we go. And let's just double check it. So we'll turn this. Yep, there's that one. And this one. That one's working, and that one. Okay, good. So let's get these names. So that should be bottom, and then we've got body, and noise, and vibes. Okay, there we go. So now, um, let's go ahead and get these dialed in a little bit more. So for bottom, I'm gonna load up, there's gonna be an EQ on all of them, but let's go ahead and load up uh, bottom and let's solo it. OK, 
Okay, so we'll start there. And for the bottom, we don't really need any highs. So we'll just cut the highs out here. And then for body, let's just cut off the low lows there. Right, so now just those two combined. And then for noise, let's see what we've got going on here. I think same thing. Just cut the lows out. Maybe a little bit of the highs. And if it wasn't obvious, uh, you know, bottom, I've got, you know, low subs uh, loaded into that one. Body, I've just got some, you know, cool... Uh, synth noises and maybe some synth synth uh, one shots or bass one shots noise is going to have you know noise and crashes and things that um, you know make noise and then vibes is just going to be some cool uh, weird samples that I found and I'll load all right so I think you know if I had to guess uh, or if I had to well not guess but if I had to Think of another parameter I might want to control. I might want to control the, the volume of these um, uh, particular parts to my sound. So let's get those mapped. So this one, um, that one, we'll go map, and then here, map, map, and map. And then that's that. So there's there's the volumes. So it should be pretty apparent that the volume for bottom is here, and body's here, and noise, and vibe, so they line up. Okay, let's see here. What happened? Oh, they're all turned down. There we go. So there you have it. A uh, really simple, uh, cool way to take old sounds, load them up into uh, an instrument rack and sampler, and uh, create... And that's it. There's your effects generator. I guess you could throw a compressor on the end just to glue it together. Maybe just do like a little, a little something to just kind of glue it down. And then of course maybe uh, do some reverb. Okay, thank you for joining me. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.